uh, I must remind the audience here that the, one of the greatest supporters for Ayurveda in early days in the UK is the former Prince Charles. Yes. So now he's a king of the United Kingdom. So we must appreciate his effort and all the support given to us. Even I had a couple of meetings with him in the past, how to promote and how to in incorporate Ayurveda into the National Health Service. That was one of his ambitions, uh, yeah. Bob, that he is working on. And in keeping with li in line with that, uh, he organized, the King's Fund organized a, a seminar <laughs> on Ayurveda that I was a keynote speaker okay. for the audience of all the heads of the PCTs in the United Kingdom. So coming into the practitioners' organizations, the government uh, went ahead uh, with a kind of regulatory mechanism for Ayurveda sector in the UK. And uh, uh, European Union had recommended that some kind of regulation uh, bring into the United <laughs> States of the Europe. So in keeping it line, in line with that, the Ayurvedic medicines being uh, over-the-counter medicinal products being licensed by the MHRA, more than 500 products being licensed by the MHRA. I have been working with the MHRA for 15 years in, in, in that respect. And in keeping in li line with the practitioner regulation. So that is a very important area that we need to get all the practitioners regulated in this country. So the final government report by Professor Walker and that David, MP David Treddick that they have reported that Ayurveda should be regulated on the self-regulatory mechanism. So uh, in keeping with that in that in, in our uh, in uh, regulatory mechanism, we have worked hard for last three years to form the British Ayurvedic Medical Council. So I'm glad <coughs> to announce that we have completed the British Ayurvedic Medical Council, and the president is here, Dr. Maru Pati, and vice president is here, Dr. Indira Anand, and our secretary, Dr. Madhvati. They all are here. So we have moved forward and brought Ayurveda into the forefront. And now we are very close to mm. uh, the, uh, what you call this uh, regulation. Yes. And, and, and another step forward for one day, we will have Ayurvedic doctors in na national hospitals. That is our dream. So thank you very much.